up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, GuitarJams.com. Uh, I was getting a lot of messages about more finger style, more acoustic finger style, um, and it's actually a style that I'm not, you know, it's not my forte. I'm not that good at it. Uh, I had my buddy John Kineski from Tenacious D and Guitar Rings on YouTube. I had him come down a few months ago, and we uh, worked on a, a two-DVD acoustic finger style set that he taught. You know, it's really uh, in his wheelhouse, so I had the expert come and do it for me. Uh, you can actually check that set out down there, but I'm actually going to pick two comments that are going to win that set for free, and I'll announce the winners on uh, my Facebook page, which there is a link for down there. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to give you guys uh, a nice foundational acoustic finger style lesson. It's going to be great for people that are wanting to just kind of delve into this style a little bit. Uh, since I consider myself more of a, a novice in this style, I think this lesson might actually help you guys out there. Uh, so let's give it a shot. What do you think? All right, All right. so I'm going to take an E major chord here. But any of the basic open chords have a little pattern uh, that, that's fun to work on that can then be expanded upon and, and uh, made, you know, made more fancy, basically. <clears throat> we also want to just work on our thumb, index, and middle finger for our picking right now. I found that that really helped me, even though, you know, there are a lot of players that are going to use their ring finger as well. I found that not even worrying about it and just having three fingers uh, immediately helped me progress quicker. So that's just my tip. You don't have to do that, but that's, I found it worked for me. So we're going to take an E major chord, and we're going to do what's called Travis picking, a basic Travis picking pattern. And with the E major chord, uh, and, and mind you, all the open chords basically have a thumb pattern that goes back and forth, and then you subdivide, subdivide the beats with your, uh, you know, your index and your middle on other strings. So with the E major chord, we're going to play the low E, and then we're going to play that D string, which is also an E note. So for the E chord, we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's it. Okay. So now, another thing that'll be kind of nice is for the E chord, we don't even think about that at all. That just doesn't exist, uh, the A string. We're just not gonna do it. You could, but for right now, we're gonna just limit that so we've got E to D. So now, the rest of the strings are the G, the B, and the high E. And like I said, we're not gonna use our ring finger, so then, that means basically what we're going to do is now we're going to assign our right index finger to the G string. And we're going to assign our middle finger to the B string, and that's all we're going to worry about. thumb on these two, index on the G, and middle finger on the B. So now we're going to work on this pattern, <clears throat> and we're going to keep it pretty simple. The first one is going E, then the G with your index finger, then that middle finger, I mean, I'm sorry, that thumb on the D string. So you got this. the D string, and we're going to do middle finger on the B. So it's kind of like index, I mean, sorry, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle. Nice and slow. That's the first one you want to do. Took me a while to be able to speed it up like that. Once you get it, I can even now, you know, I never spent a lot of time on the style, but now I can actually talk to the camera and do that pattern, which means I've just I've just done some repetitions now. Okay? 
right? There it is. Get that going. Watch again really slow. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. All right? But now, check this out. You know, I was going thumb, index, thumb, middle. I can still do that, but that thumb, index, thumb, that last middle finger, you can do the high E with that middle finger instead. Like this, thumb, index, thumb, middle, but I'm hitting the high E now, so I just didn't even play that B. Watch this. Same exact thing, but instead of the B string, that middle finger is hitting the high E. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, but on the high E. Now, alternate them. Thumb, index, thumb, middle on the B. Thumb, index, thumb, middle on the high E. that all of a sudden sounds uh, a little bit fancier okay thumb index thumb middle thumb index thumb middle or mix and match in an improvising way in other words you don't know when you're gonna do which one because they're all part of that same chord so then you have a little a little wiggle room to get creative with it So remember, so far we are, we're using our thumb on the low E and the D, back and forth, always doing that same thing. One, two, three, four. And then we're adding, peace man, we're adding uh, the index in the middle finger. The index has only been hitting the G string, so it's only been assigned to one string. And then the middle, at first we were only doing the B with it, but now we've learned that we can mix and match the exact same pattern with the B or the high E, all right? So let me do the other two chords of like, you know, the one, four, five of E major. And so the other one, I, you know, just to mix it up, I went to the five chord, which is a B7. So boom, 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 boom. The pattern is gonna be the exact same with our picking, except the very first string instead of the low E is the, is the A string. So everything's the same, but instead of E to D, where you're skipping over that A string, now we're just going the A string to the D string now. But everything else is the same. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, but no E string this time. And then, once again, sometimes you can play your middle finger on the B string, and then other times you can just do the exact same pattern but with the middle finger on the high E. So watch this. Thumb, index, thumb, middle on the B. Thumb, index, thumb, middle on the high E. One tricky thing, you know, remember just just remember when you switch back to the E chord, now your thumb has to move over one string. Look at my thumb there. See it switched to the A to the D. Okay, now the A major chord, which this is good news, don't have to do anything new with our 
picking hand, it's going to be the exact same thing we did on the B7, but now with the A. So it's the A to the D pattern back and forth, index on the G, middle finger on the B or the high E, depending on your mood. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle. Middle on the high E there. On the B. The high E. Look, I can go B7. I didn't have to do any new thing with my picking hand. Now when I go to the E chord, I am going to have to get my thumb to the low E. Okay, one other thing I'm gonna add now is just, it's called a pinch. Thumb hasn't done anything different. These fingers haven't been assigned to anything new, but instead of like that, we're gonna play the E by itself. So this is still gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This time, just a new pattern, and you can mix and match these as well. The pinch sounds really good. A pinch is when you do two strings on the same at the same time, on the same beat. So the thumb's gonna be by itself. Then, so that's one, and then on two, when we hit that with our thumb, we're gonna pinch also the B string with our middle finger like this. So the D string with our thumb, the B string with our middle finger like this. So it's one, two. This one's in the Black Key song. The submarine song, I believe. So we got thumb, then the pinch, then back to the thumb. So now we're going to do the normal pattern, which would be thumb, index, thumb, middle. So thumb, pinch, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, pinch, thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, pinch, thumb, index, thumb, middle. Thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, pinch, thumb, index, thumb, middle. And now, mixing and matching. High E with the middle finger, B with the middle finger. Throw some pinches in there. Now it's getting harder for me to talk and do it. Same concept here. Except the thumb is on the A instead of the E. And the A chord, same concept. That thumb pinch, thumb index, thumb middle. That was the lesson. I hope you got something from that. Uh, remember, two comments are going to win that new DVD set that I will announce on the Facebook page. All the links right down there. Thanks for hanging out, and uh, we'll see you later.